cafecito. Hey. I love this program. We are in Washington, D.C. with legendary actor, director, and activist, Edward James Olmos. Este año, tu voto es cosa seria. We've got a big election year again, presidential election. You're working hard to galvanize the Latino vote. You have an organization. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me about that and the work you're doing there? Yeah, this is nothing more than registering and, uh, and making people understand that the vote is, is our, it's our voice and to use it. If we break 70 or 80 percent of the people who are registered and they actually can vote that they vote, it'll be the change in, of this country. This country will never be the same again because that inertia, that energy will infect the women's voters and the African voters. It's just going to make people start to vote more. Hey, they're voting. Let's vote. And, and that's what we need. We're here at LULAC, yeah. you know, our oldest, largest civil rights organization. Can you talk to me about the importance of LULAC, especially to our raza, to our people in the trenches here in the States? The League of United Latin American Citizens is the single most powerful and the most prolific group of people that we've had helping the Latino cause in this country ever. 87 years now and um, LULAC was the first and it's all truly uh, a blessing to our community. Now, you know, you are here to commemorate the, the Jaime Escalante U.S. Postage Stamp. That's a big deal. One of my favorite heroes of all time. Mine too. Also, one of uh, my favorite roles when you played Jaime yeah. in Stand and Deliver. Can you talk a little bit more about Jaime, his legacy, and also the importance of your film, Stand and Deliver? The importance of the film is literally, it documented the behavior of the man. Did you know that neither the Greeks nor the Romans were capable of using the concept of zero? It was your ancestors, the Mayas, who first contemplated the zero, the absence of value. True story. You burros have math in your blood. That is the most viewed film of any film in the United States of America ever. Got tens of thousands of teachers over the last 30 years have used it and millions of kids see it every year. And it motivates the students, but it really inspires the teacher. Students will rise to the level of expectation. You know, race and uh, ethnicity came up big time this year around the yeah, Oscars. Big time. What are your thoughts on where we stand in terms of multiculturalism, uh, diverse representation in Hollywood. Are you encouraged by anything? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no, I'm very discouraged. I mean, I, I think that the Academy finally learned its lesson, and I think that it's becoming now sensitive and aware. There, I think 93 or 94% of all of its members are Caucasian and over the age of 60. We need youth and diversity, and that's what we started to get this year. Cuando voy al vacilón y me meto a un salón, las chavalas gritan, vamos a bailar danzón. You're a pioneer. You're one of our most celebrated artists, actors, and civil rights activists. You've always been dedicated to our people. Looking back, you know, you're seven years old, looking good. Hey, I'm looking good. <laughs> <laughs> but what are, what are you most proud of, man? What do you think about? You know what? It's time for me to say it as it is. I mean, I've been doing it for over 40 years. When I die, my children will place on my headstone, there's only one race, the human race, punto. That to me is probably the only thing that I've really come to terms with. Of all the things that I've understood, of all the things that I've really tried to make sure that we have an understanding of the, the fact that uh, people think to this day right now that are watching this program think that there is a Latino race, that there's a Caucasian race, an Asian race, an indigenous race, an African race. It's only one race. It's the human race. There are beautiful cultures inside of the human race. But there's only one race, and I would like us to come together out of happiness and joy. I'm Edward James Olmos, and you're watching Cafecito. Mejor café en el mundo. The best television show, too. Salud. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.